Hey everybody, it's Kenneth again. Some people ask me how to use the whammy bar of a Jaguar guitar, for example, and I thought uh, I will show you my way how I use it. I think there are a lot of ways, but I also think there's not much you can do with it actually than banning it, because this is what it's there for. I don't have a plaque at the moment, but uh, my uh, finger tips should do it as well. Yeah, before I start, I want to show the effect without any amp. Some My Bloody Valentine chords like this. Now with Whammy. that I just hit the whammy bar sometimes uh, at the first note so like uh, I'm just doing it very slightly like like here and then very fast then it sounds a bit more shoegazy I guess You can also do it every time, like... So you're hitting the whammy bar very shortly every single time you hit the strings. You can also do it very slowly, like if you hit the strings eight times... You could also try to bend the whammy bar the whole uh, time you're playing the eight movements. You hear that? I showed from the other side. Now I show you how it sounds with an amp. And now with a whammy bar. I like to do uh, most of the time is I hit the whammy bar at one, at four, and then at three, like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. So just at this position, so then it sounds that way. And because I'm moving the whammy bar all the time, sometimes it happens just out of the feel that you are uh, banding it in other counting times just by accident, just uh, coincidentally. So with reverse reverb it sounds that way. So here is no whammy bar in it at all and now I do it with it. What 
I do here is that I hit the whammy bar just one time very slowly in eighth drumming movements like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In the middle of that, I'm bending very slowly. Look at this. So, when you counting four, then I start bending. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. This is actually everything I do, and I think a lot of people do the same. It's also very funny to use the Grammy bar when uh, you're playing a solo. You can hit the tone that way, or you can hit the tone that way. Just to create vibration. Yeah, I think it's cool. Or you're just drumming one single time and make the rhythm with the whammy bar, like this. I bet this is sounding awesome with delay if you have a lot of sustain on a puzzle. So. So, these are uh, some tools, try yourself out with this. Don't forget to leave some comments of maybe some techniques you know. Post some videos where you love the Wendy bar and uh, don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.